Hi, friends. It's me again, Bill. Bill Lennox, Lennox Auto Circus, out where the friendly freeways end. The difference is love, friends. Bill Lennox puts love in each and every car that leaves this lot. Whether it's a late model or just a transportation vehicle, Lennox has got a car to suit your family style and your family budget. Yes, sir. And nobody gets... Nobody gets turned away. Nobody. Buy one of these late models at Lennox Auto Circus. All freeways lead here. Lennox trusts you, Lennox. Uh, Lennox trusts everybody. Easy terms will be arranged. Pay nothing now. Pay nothing later. Never pay. I run a clean business. I sell clean cars. They all guarantee, uh, carry our guarantee, our gold key quality, quality sticker. Yes, sir. Folks, that's what you get. You get a guarantee. Linux is good. Trust him. Will somebody, for Christ's sake, take these cars off my hand? You know what this place is? I'll tell you what it is. It's a shithouse. And you know why? Because nobody gives a damn about it but me. I'm a janitor in my own house. But he does his job anymore. No pride of workmanship. Imbecile Jap gardener. If he do anything, he wouldn't have to be a gardener. Or a Jap. Never moves the furniture out of the path of the sprinklers. Wakes us up at 6 o'clock in the morning, three days a week. Even the goddamn garbage man has got no pride. Might have been my broker. Hola, está Rosalita. Puede comunicar con ella. Hey, es el teléfono para mí. Olga, es alguien. in the drain. A rat? In our pool? Yeah, I guess they get thirsty and come down from the hills and fall into the pool and get sucked into the filter. Well, get it out! Get it out! But it's alive in there! Well, so get it out! Good idea. How? Yes. Call the pool service. I want this pool drained and scrubbed. Chlorine will kill all bacteria. Oh, really? Well, you didn't seem too happy swimming around with a rat in there. Well, I came up about two inches from his face. He was looking me right in the eye. So call the pool service. Oh, I hate rats. Hello, information. You give me the number of the Academy Pool Service. That's the Western Directory. You know that I almost jumped in this pool? Well, I would have vomited. That's all. I just would have vomited. Thank you. See, he can't get out. Suction's keeping him down. Oh, when I think of all of our water filtering over that rat. No answer. A rat and no answer. Oh, that's typical. They're never there when you need them. Hello. They're there? Yeah. Hello, this is Mr. Linnick, 4600 Canyon Road. We have your service, and uh, <laughs> we've got a rat Bill, stuck in the, stuck in the so drain. don't be so nice. Tell them. Tell them. Well, yeah, but we have your service three times a week. A rat's extra. A rat's extra. Well, look, I don't give a damn about that. Just tell me when you can get a man over here. Monday, but Monday's our regular day. Bill. What? Yeah. I don't see any rat in that pool. You don't want to see. I don't see your any... Your mascara is all smeared. Oh. Give me your supervisor. 
Never mind that. I want to speak to your supervisor. Bill? Yeah. Uh, I'll call you back. Uh, a pool service. A rat uh, caught in the drain. A pool drain. Oh, I didn't see anything. Maybe he imagined it. He imagined things? I surfaced just a few inches from it. They come down from the mountains during the dry season. leg is longer than the front. <laughs> Like dead things. What is it you want here? Say, hey, look, is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Outside, inside, I mean anything at all. Well, no, if you're looking for employment, I am afraid we have nothing to offer at the moment. Now, if you just get rid of that thing. Where? Upstairs in the house, in the disposal? Of course not. Put it in a, put it in a trash barrel. No! No, they're empty, and the gardener will leave it by the kitchen and... All right, all right, then, any place. Throw it, throw it in the bushes. Just get rid of it. It's a shame. I was thinking of moving into the neighborhood, and I just hate throwing rats around a place like that. that you should offer this uh, young man a tip. Yes, something to um, show our appreciation. And it wasn't my imagination. I don't have any money in my swimsuit. Why don't I go up to the house? Why don't we? Don't force me to call the servants. There ain't nobody in the house. Help is a bitch to find in it. Give you just one more chance to get off this property. What are you gonna do, call the police? It'll take 45 minutes to get here. What you think I'm gonna be doing all that time? Now let's you and me walk hand in hand up the hill to the house. No! Go on after it, lady. Go on after it and get electrocuted. Well, what is it you want? Like the lady said, tips. This house was built in 1929 by the family of William Randolph Hearst. The uh, last couple that owned the house were getting a divorce. That's how we got it for a song. <laughs> You know who lived here once? Tom Mix. Remember Tom Mix? This is the, uh, well, this is the entrance hall, the, the kind of vestibule which uh, opens up to the dining room. And then just through this door, we get to the breakfast room, which you see orange and yellow, and uh, we used kind of sunlight as a motif. And then this is kind of uh, the butler's pantry. And you see there's another entrance from the dining room into this. 
Over there, you see, uh, is our living room, which has a working fireplace and plenty of room, and of course, it affords a terrific view of the front lawn and also the side. This is a special mobile that I, I'm very fond of, and it, it drips water, and a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to figure out exactly where the water, how the water gets back up to it, and I'm very proud of it, and we think it's lovely. And then going up these few steps, we get into my husband's office, which I don't really spend too much time in. This is his domain. This is his office. He takes care of it. Of course, I keep another office in town. But you deduct this one, too, huh? Who's this here? It's our son. He's in Vietnam now. He's a lieutenant. Flies a chopper. Well, doesn't that mean anything to you? I mean, our boy is, is risking his life for your country. And, hey, we're never going to be able to clean that up. Look, don't do that. OK, look, there's $30 in my wallet upstairs. You can have them. I'm talking about money. Company. It's a Saks Fifth Avenue. That's all you got is bills, 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 bills. Hey, you count $57 overdrawn. All right, Magnum, Bullocks. Some kind of beauty center. This is nothing but bills. Lady, you know something? You spend money for a lot of crap. You know that? You can have my fur coats. They're in the cedar closet. You can have them. What am I going to do with fur coats in the middle of July? Please, don't do that. Oh, look, there's nothing there's in nothing there. there. There's no money there. Can't you do something? I can't. What do you mean? Can oh, I do look. something? Now, look, Mother. You live in a big house. You make big money, and you got big bread. And now I want you to tell me where it is. Do you hear me? Tell me where it is. Look, I got $32,000. $32, and two thousand checks. Now, I want some money. I want some money right now. Is that clear now? We don't have anything else. Oh, he's telling the truth. All we have are credit cards. Jesus, those bills downstairs. But what do you, what do you, oh, oh, why don't you oh, listen to oh, me? No, no, you listen. You ain't got no balance in your account. That means you got cash here in the house. Or, or what? Or you in one hell of a mess. Shit, you got the, the biggest house here in the neighborhood. Big car agencies all over. That's how, that's how come I picked you out. All you got is, is, is bills up to your ass. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hold now! Hey, you took a third on your house? Let me see. A third? Let me see that. It's not possible without my signature. What did you do, forge your name? I don't think this is a proper time to discuss it. He ought to be locked up. He isn't barred on his life insurance. What? What's going on here? Well, what else could I do? We, we had to. We needed the money. We were strapped. Strapped? What? You can't tell me about it? I'm going to have to beat a hasty departure, as they say, slip out the back door and split. But before I leave, I was thinking of raping her, but you got troubles enough, so I'm going to have to tie you up. So come on, turn around. That's all right. We don't, we don't mind being tied up. Come on, come on. Let's. Don't right, you right, gag right. him. Yo, listen, you all turn around. Put your hands behind your back. He gets shortness of breath. Look, I do I don't not. Want... I said, shut I, up. I, Put I your hands behind your back. I ain't fooling around I now. will not be tied to him. Lock me in a closet. Well, well smother. If the man knows what he's doing, let him man. You're going to say something to me? I really don't understand it. Say um, something to me. Um, Make me understand. It's not such a big deal. It's not such I mean, a big deal. A, a third on the house. You don't even tell me. You thought you realize it's a criminal offense. You I'm going to I didn't steal anything, for Christ's sake, Bernadette. Well, why? That's not a criminal offense. You can't charm your way out of that, you know. That's forgery. That's forgery. Any court. Any court in the country is forgery. $5,000. $5,000. With interest of five and one half percent, compounded daily. What is that? Oh. What? 
A sneaky Billy. <laughs> Where'd this come from? What? What? <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, explain that. It's an old account. I'd forgotten I even had it. <laughs> You're a thief. <laughs> You've been wrong for your old wife. <laughs> and, and, and it's in his name. In his name only. How could you have forgotten about it? How is that possible that you could have forgotten about it, huh? Bernadette, it's not such a big thing. I'm a busy man. It's a piddling little bank account. What is the big deal? A piddling little bank account? How could you forget it when we owe so many bills? Don't even think about it. It belongs to me and not mine. <laughs> Let's see you charm your way out of this yeah. one. Yes, friends. You can see we're in trouble. Yes, sir, we're losing our shirt, so come on in and take advantage of us. We can't afford to turn you down. Even if you have no credit reference, even if you're unemployed, even if you've been bankrupt, you can still drive off our lot in one of these fine luxury cars. And don't forget our gold key special. So take the Norwood Avenue exit west one mile to the sign of the Big Boo Boo. Our mistake, your lucky day. some appearance with his clothes on. I could have been dressed by now. You couldn't get your eyelashes on by now. Lady, if they see you any place near that bank with less than full makeup, they're going to start getting suspicious. Now look, I insist on going with him. Do you understand? I insist. In fact, I demand it. Would you just be quiet? Yeah, shut up. We don't need all this bullshit. Now look, you go on into that bank real casual like, see? Collect our funds. <laughs> and down did your parking and get your ass over here before 3.30 o'clock. Else I'm gonna bang the hell out of her and cut her throat with your own gold letter opener. Oh my God. Did you have to say that to her? No, I'm telling you that so we understand each other's plight. I need that bread. And I'm gonna be real pissed if you're the least bit tardy. You do what he says, do you understand? You do exactly what yes. he says. Yes, and you're not to threaten her while I'm gone. Now, is that perfectly clear? Now, I want that money in uh, tens and twenties. Why is this happening to me? Why me? Please all tell right. me, why is yeah. this happening to right. me? I'm sure it's going to be all right. I don't right. understand. Because you're going to drive I'm... real careful, right? Now, now, let me see what time it is. Put your hand up there so I can see what time it is. Hold it right there from the button, this button here. Yes, sir. Hmm. One minute after two. <laughs> now, that gives you a whole hour for that round trip, don't it? Bill? And remember this, beware of the fuss. I got nothing to lose. Oh, no, Bill, come on now, don't you, don't you leave me with him, Bill. If you go, if you go, Bill, I'm going to scream, I'm going to scream. Go ahead and scream. I'm going to scream. Scream. Ah! Bill, don't you leave me now. No. Will you look at who you're leaving me with? Bill? Bill, why don't you listen to me? I'm telling you. Bill! Bill! Know what I said. <laughs> You son of a bitch! Hey, you got any ice cream? Damn. Yeah.
have some popsicles? No. Come on, Queen. No, I... When I was a kid, we used to collect the bags. Say, popsicle beat and get something. Swell prices. I say 500 bags. I smooth them out, I put them in the drawer. A secret drawer, none of the other eight little us know about. 500 bags. And I got something. Roaches. You know how long it takes to say 500 bags? Gather them up out of the streets where the kids threw them away. Picking them up out of trash cans. She said they were sticky and crappy, but I washed them. And I smoothed them up. And I put them in the drawer. It was the roaches that fucked me up! It was this long railroad apartment, and they had plenty of places to hide. And I'd, and I'd wait. I'd wait until everybody else had gone to sleep. I wait in the dark and then I ah. slide out of bed oh. and pull fast from that kitchen like card. Roaches. I pick one of them, little trundle between my fingers. See that? Mm. And I hold it and he's falling. I hear him squish. Go ahead. You pick it up. Uh. Go ahead. Come on. No, I don't want it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Go ahead. Hold it in your hand. Feel it? Feel it when you come down, you go squish. Squish. Go ahead. Pick it up. Feel it. Pick it up. Go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, I do. Feel it? Now come down and go squish. Squish. Put it down. Go ahead. Pick it up. Go ahead. Squish. That's it. Go ahead. Do it again. Squish. That's it. Squish. Squish. Do it. Squish. That's it. Yes. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it. Come on. I won't do it. Go ahead. Hit it. Go ahead. Squish. Doctor? Yes. Somebody dying? Yes, yes. I uh, thought so. Oh, and you uh, left this on the front seat. Why did I do that? Anyone could have picked it up, Doc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what time is it? Going down three. What do you want? I don't let me do it again, please. You don't have to do it again. What? Well, just tell me what you want. What do you want? I want some hot food. Can you cook? Yes, what? Eggs. Eggs? Yeah, I want some eggs. Hey, hey! All right. Scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Wait, hold it. I want some eggs. Coddled. What? Coddled. Don't you know coddled eggs? I mean, you live in this big fancy house. You gotta know something about coddled eggs. Oh, my eggs. God. Oh, my God. I don't know how to make a coddled egg. There's no sweat. I mean, you, you, you're going to learn something this afternoon, huh? Yes, sir. You're going to fix up the best coddled legs ever. Mm-hmm.
many checks do you have? Beg your pardon? I have surfers. I mean, I used to have tennis players. Maybe that's why my checks kept bouncing. See? Surfers. Very, very attractive. What about yours? Mine. Checks. Oh, uh, plain, just plain. I think they ought to make money more beautiful. I mean, who cares about all those seedy old presidents? I mean, they ought to put a Renoir on a five, a Picasso on a ten. The teller is ready for you. I'd like to order new checks. This time ones with skin divers on them. Well, that's new accounts over there. This is the express line. Oh, Mr. Lennox. Oh, I saw you on TV last night in my own bedroom. <laughs> I'd uh, like to make a withdrawal, please. Oh, Total yes. withdrawal. Total withdrawal? Yes. Okay, well, I'll just figure up the interest right here. Why don't you fill out this uh, withdrawal? Look, ticket? I don't have an awful lot of time. Parking meter. I'll get a ticket if we go beyond 3 o'clock. Oh, well, you've got a good 20 minutes, Mr. Lennox. Uh, Mr. Lennox, excuse me. I, I don't mean to be meddlesome or anything, but... Uh, why don't you uh, keep your savings account intact and make a $5,000 loan and we could give it to you for 2% above the line? No, no, just uh, close out my account, please. Oh, all right, sir. I do not want to be tied to him. I don't want to be close to him. Yes. Yes? Yes, that might be a very, uh, very sensible idea. I'll think about it. I've got time. Oh, it's uh, financial common sense, if I do say so myself. Yes, I'll talk to my tax man and my accountant and... Uh, Good, we'll be right here, Mr. Lennox. Come to this window. That's Bill Lennox, the famous TV personality. Comes to my window all the time. <laughs> Refill. Hey. Hey. Hey there. I loved your dog. What happened to him? What? Your dog, Fury. You're Bill Lennox. He's dead. I know that. I used to love how he'd lie on the hood of a car. Hey, lie so still. And you'd be selling cars and all like that? He scratched up his share of paint jobs. Sank his teeth into my hand once when I was halfway through a Monza commercial. It took an hour for the bleeding to stop and I could go on with the taping. Even so, you adored him. Every time I looked at that mutt, all I could think of was his grandfather chasing across the yard of some concentration camp, biting some Jewish ass. Ad agency nightmare. Excuse me. Hey, did you have that dog destroyed? Shh! Why did you say a thing like that? I wasn't his real owner anyway. He was leased. Ah, oh, honey, I wasn't accusing you. A 1970 Mercury Colony Park station wagon ran over him in the South Covina lot. We held the services there that Sunday. Yes, sir. 2,100 people showed up in person. Yes, we sold cars. We. Uh... Bartender, where's the men's room? Wait a minute. I knew we had something in common. Madam, you know I'm that terribly happened sorry, but. Just about the same time as they killed poor Alfred. Killed? The dentists. Dentists? All of them. Beverly Hills, Westwood, Brentwood, Pacific Palisades, Malibu, A Trang. Conspiracy of dentists? Full mouth x-rays. All of them gave him full mouth x-rays. Sometimes as many as eight or nine in one day, six days a week. But why would they do such a thing? Exactly what I said. Don't those dentists know one another? How could they permit a man to walk into their office and ask for full mouth x-rays and not know anything about him? He went straight through the yellow pages. He didn't miss a single dentist. I didn't 
know how he spent his afternoons until after he passed on and the bells began to pour in. Nothing but dentists. Do you know what they get? $25 a clip for full mouth x-rays. Why did he do it? He didn't do anything. They did it. He didn't have a cavity. He had sweet, lovely breath. Not a trace of tobacco. Look at those. Look at those. Hold them up to the light. Oh, you can't see them here. Come over here. Oh, you can't see them here either. Come outside. Oh, there. Now, you see, you can see them out here. Why, look at that. Not a mark, not a mark. And no, they're not a mark. You know, I have a whole drawer full of these. We could go to my house and we could look at Alfred's x-ray. You'd like it. You really... Oh, listen, we weren't trying to run out on the check. You see, we were just looking at these teeth. And I... Here, here, I can take care of that. I, I'm terribly sorry. But, uh, I seem to have left my house without my wallet. You see, I was on my way to the bank over there across the Be street. Be our I... guest. Alfred's and mine. Oh, I couldn't do that. Uh, we insist. Oh, thank you. And uh, my deepest sympathy. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I don't cook much anymore. Bill likes to eat out. That's what we do, mostly. We, uh, we go out for dinners. Big dinner. Maybe French sometimes, maybe Italian. And, uh, then we have a couple of drinks. And then we go home and we have a, a nightcap. Is that why you have a lot of that booze fat? Oh, yeah. yeah I guess so. I... You know what my favorite one is? Polynesian. You like that? Well, better than the food is, uh, is I love the drinks that they have. <coughs> the drinks. They have terrific drinks. They have a special menu just for the drinks. And they have little pictures of it on them. You know? And they have... Um, Interesting names. There's this cobra. <laughs> now, that's a funny name for a drink, right? There's one called a cobra. There's one called a pink missionary. They have all kinds of names. I'll bet you could use one of them drinks right now. Could I? That's if your eggs meet with my standard of approval. Now, look. Please remember that this is the first time that I ever made a coddled egg. I never made a, a coddled egg. You'll take that into consideration. It's the. Huh? You don't like it? love it. Maybe you could have a drink. It would wash it down. It would make it taste better. The juice would get... Get a drink. No drink, no drink. Huh. Something else, if you're hungry. French toast? Do you like sausages? What about a scrambled egg? I could scramble you eggs. I make terrific scrambled eggs. Oh. A mushroom omelet? There must be something that you want. One thing that you want. This... No. You jumped. Well, I was just daydreaming. Did you get your surfers? Skin divers. 14-day wait. By that time, I won't be in the same bank anyhow. Oh, are you leaving town? Changing banks. I switch every 30 days. They give you premiums for opening new accounts, corning ware, shaping dishes, carving boards. So I put it in, then I take it out and put it in someplace else. Well, that sounds easy. One catch. $50 minimum deposit. Exactly what I'm worth. Oh. Uh, what happens if you spend, say, a dollar? 
I'm screwed. No cutlery. Uh, well, how do you get along? See? Most men leave them in their car. They get all cluttered. They get sticky. Is, uh, is that all you do? Of course not. Am I nosy? What else? Are you going someplace? No, just killing time. Are you good at carrying packages? Join me. Bread and butter. What do you do with the peel? Give me. Floor show was your snack. Ever see anybody slip on a banana peel before? Not in real life, no. Barbecue. Good. All that seasoning mm. is bad for the arteries. You must be hungry. Don't have to be. Can eat any old time. Doesn't show. That's my metabolism. It scares the hell out of guys sometimes, the way I can put it away. Marvelous. I'm a cheap date, though. I think it tastes a lot better if you steal it. Is that how you live? Uh-uh. I bitch, too. Bitch? What's that? Oh, I write complaint letters, you know, to all the companies. Consumer relations. The tuna fish was spoiled. There was a nail in my TV dinner. They usually send you an apology letter and a whole case of their products. <laughs> you eat for a month. <laughs> Ever get caught? I circulate. This chain has 24 stores. Anyway, not with you. The father-daughter bit, you know? Yeah, but what if you are? I tell him I'm alone, scared, and desperate. Like you. Me? What have I got to be scared of? Don't you know? Those are cold. Button up and hang on to them. Get a chill. Where are we going next? Paper plates and stainless steel. Come on, let's go. Thompson, except that you, you add brandy. That's diabetes on the rocks. Oh, no, no. Whoops. <laughs> it's delicious. Bill, you're going to like it. I want you to taste it. I'm making a terrible mess. But it tastes better than it looks. In the restaurant, it really looks nice. Oh, you're trying to slip me a little arsenic, huh? I'll grow up. Here, I'll drink it first. safer all locked inside. Don't you? If there was a fire, I'd worry about getting out. Is that what you're afraid of? Fire? Why do you insist that I'm afraid? Where does everybody get that idea about me? Everybody has something. Heights, or the dark, or being alone, or not being alone. You mean childhood fears. Well, that's, that's mine. Yeah. Not always. Fear of men, fear of women, of being cut, of using a public potty, of going to sleep. Well, I suppose anything could terrify you if you thought about it long enough. Oh, you don't think about such things. No, I'm too busy. 
fear of not being busy. I am concerned about cholesterol. What about steak sauce? With monosodium glutamate. I'll run hot water on that. You're going to hurt yourself. The strongest muscles of your body are in your jaw. Did you know that? No. Where did you think they were, the strongest muscles? Legs. Do you have a mistress? No. So much time, too demanding, a lot of work keeping it a secret, you know? Rides and motel rooms. How do you like your meat? Don't tell me. Medium. And well, all that energy could be better put to use by expanding profits, getting ahead, instead of laid and alone. <laughs> You're always alone afterwards, you know? Try to put something of yourself into it. But afterwards, lying there, it all seems so fucking impersonal. What could be new? People have been doing it for millions of years. Romans, Egyptians, Babylonians. What can be new? What makes it me doing it? It could be anybody doing it with anybody else. So unless you put some little bit of perversion of your own to make it special. But suppose you're not a pervert. Oh, you could learn. Thank God. After you've lost your virginity and had your kids, that phase is over and you can go on to the business of making money. Now, that's really personal. It's peculiar to each individual. Style, personality. They all play a part. Who says you're not a pervert? You see, you're angry at me. We only just met, and yet there is a conflict that I have to cope with. And for what? Suppose we do jump into your bed, huh? Nobody asked you. Look, lady, cut that shit out, man. I don't need you passing out on me. Uh -huh. Oh, look what I did. I almost drank the whole thing. And I didn't leave any for you. I could mix up another batch, huh? Because okay, I'm really... the party's over, man. Huh? Your He'll be here. Well, I'm what are you talking about? He'll be here. Yeah, he's late. Slide up from behind this bar. You wouldn't. I told the man what was going to happen. Well, a traffic jam. Any number of things could have happened on us. Well, maybe got lost. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. I'm sure, calling the bank. Me. Just the bank. Do it. The bank. I'm just calling the bank. Maybe he had trouble making a withdrawal. I think I'm going to withdraw now. Yeah. Jack Daniels. 
All right, Jack Daniels, fine. Hey, wait a minute, man. Time, hold it. Just one second here. Woman, are you crazy or something? I mean, out of the whole damn neighborhood, I had to go and pick you people. I mean, he can't find his way home and you playing hostess. Jesus H. Christ. Uh, on the rocks? Yeah, rocks, yeah. my top, please. No, you can't have your top, please. Well, uh, could I have my bottoms? No, you can't have your bottoms because I'm just going to have to go through the whole trouble and take them off again, understand me? Now, you just go ahead and get yourself natural stone cold drunk because I'm going to have to knock you cold and do it to you. You understand me? Uh, why didn't you? Why didn't I what? Why didn't you knock me cold and do it to me? Hey, baby, go ahead and finish your drink. That's all. Finish your drink. No. No, please. I want you to tell me why. Why didn't you? Because I might have hit you in your natural stone cold head and fractured your skull. That doesn't make any sense. You were going to cut my throat with a gold letter opener anyway, weren't you? Yeah, Mama, and that's still my intent. You're not telling me the truth. I don't have to answer any of your questions. No, that's true, you don't. But as long as you're going to kill me, why not be open and frank with me, huh? Well, yeah. As soon as I finish my cocktail, I'm going to show you. No, now I want you to tell me right now. Now, you just tell me now why you did not knock me unconscious and take what you wanted. Because you had to be awake, understand? Is that enough for you, Mama? Oh, no. No, no. No. God damn it, Mom. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassed? How do you think I feel? Now, I want you to tell me. Just sit down, have your drink, and tell me why. Why didn't you do it? Just tell me why. You can be frank with me. I took a course in psychology. Tell me. You know, it's amazing. A girl your age, with all that sexual experience. Well, if you want to know, I was molested when I was 11 years old. In the orchestra of Lowe's Orpheum Theater in New York. It was a Saturday matinee. By a guy who smelled something like you. An old guy. How do you mean, smell? You ever notice the way, uh... All those theaters used to smell the same. The same with all the RKO houses. Only they had still a different smell. You know that certain, um, bottled smells? But you remarked on my smell. Maybe that's the way, um, perverts smell who buy their little kids. <laughs> I never had any such entrance. I hated to sit in the children's section. All those kids screaming blowing into their candy boxes. You couldn't hear the dialogue. So in a dark scene, I'd slip out of my seat and across the island to the adult section. And then in the back, I'd see a flashlight blink on and the matron would start coming down the aisle. And I'd slide over next to a grown-up. And I'd whisper, say I'm with you, say I'm with you. Say I'm your daughter, tell her to go away. And sometimes they would. This guy did. And he went back and he bought me popcorn and a Pepsi Cola and Black Crows. I know I was sitting there with the popcorn in one hand and the Pepsi in the other hand, and my mouth was full of Black Crows. He reached under my skirt and pulled my underpants down. Horrible. I pretended he wasn't doing anything. Watched Howard Keel and pretended I was up there, not down in the dark, with those ice cold fingers. He must have washed his hands in cold water when he went back for candy, because they were like ice. There's never any hot water in theaters. You should have cried out. The matron would have come and turned her flashlight right on his hands. 
And I never would have been able to go back to that Lowe's. Besides, those black crows get stuck to your teeth, and they make it very hard to yell. What else did he do to you? You should have reported it. To Lowe's? Suppose they would have kicked me out for good, said that I was making it up. They wouldn't. They couldn't. You were a child. That's what you know. Did you ever read the back of your ticket? No, you never read it. They don't want you to read it. That's why they tear it up before you can read it. I'll tell you what it says. Are you ready for this? The management reserves the right to relinquish the license granted by this ticket by refunding the purchase price. How do you like that shit? Is it significant? It's full of big words that a little kid can't understand. It means that they can kick you out for any reason at all just by giving you your money back. Is that so terrible? Have you ever been kicked out of the movies? Then you don't know. Being hauled through the lobby by the usherette, standing out there looking at all the glossies, knowing that you'll never get to see that scene. Where did they expect me to go? Home? Home, for Christ's sake. Now, that was a long time ago. You were a child. You should have told your mother. She would have been something. I did, finally. And you know what she said? Nothing. Like she didn't hear. She told me to tidy my room. And then she stared away from me. She never really looked at me after that. She didn't want to hear it, so she didn't. You don't know what it's like. I do. I do. I, I have to think a while, but smells do bring back the memories. Like, like a dime novel. You know about dime novels? Nick Carter, Doc Savage, Street and Smiths. The aroma of that cheap, rough paper under your pillow. Huh? Right? Yeah. You see? It takes time, but I make the connection. You used to read those? Well, actually, I, I used to collect them. The used ones. Sold them to the other kids. You sold them? Oh, I had hundreds. Sure, yes, I sold them. The real raggedy ones went four for a dime. But Street and Smith's, they were a nickel apiece. Creep. You do smell like him. That molester? I don't. I swear I don't. I'll never forget him. You were eating popcorn. You couldn't smell anything anyway. You are the right age. I don't go to the movies. It's, it's a waste of valuable business time. Twelfth row from the front. Seven bright for seven brothers. Eight musicals. Now, young lady, you stay away. Yep. Dark, like it was then. Turn that light back on. Young lady, you are dangerously ill. Oh, oh holy Jesus, let go. Please, please. Oh, let, let go. Watch the movie. I'll get you some popcorn. Some nice, hot, buttered popcorn. Wouldn't you like that? And I can get you a Heath bar. You ever had one? They're very soft on the outside. And very hard on the inside. Mm. And I can get you a Three Musketeer bar. That's my favorite. You can nibble the chocolate around the front. I love you. Uh. <laughs> See, I uh, generally can't do it unless the lady fights back. 
I let her hit me a few times, get a few good scratches in. Scratching generally does it for me. Well, didn't I? I mean, I know that I kicked you a lot. No, kicking turns me off. Scratching? No, oh, I don't have any nails. I can't grow the damn things. I no, take no, gelatin. No. no, I say, it's not your fault, lady, you know. Lately, I've been getting this shit clawed out of me, but, uh... You know, stir nothing up. Well? <sighs> Disappointment like today, well, that, uh... Makes me feel bad. No, damn it, I'm, I'm making excuses. <laughs> Is it because I'm white? Well, if your husband had come back with the bread, I wouldn't have to go through all this. Oh, I know, this is... This is demoralizing. I mean, what kind of a rapist am I? Well, I don't know. I've, I've never met a rapist before, but... I guess, like everybody today, you're... You're under great social pressures. Well, when I was 16, you know, I, uh, you could have called me boy, you know. The whole idea of being with a white chick was uh, like a fantasy, you know. I, I stay away from her, Jack, you know, verboten. <laughs> I fuck that shit. Lynch him. And the white girls, they were terrified, Jack. Stone terrified. I remember. You still, I'd slip into a house where a white chick was, you know, and just... Just stand there, just re reveal myself, Jack, you know, <laughs> so I could stand there, just scream, you know, why there's a nigger in my house? <laughs> hey, didn't I, I read about you in the newspapers? Yeah, you were never caught. Uh, the unidentified negro, you know. <sighs> now you go to a movie house and uh, do it, why, there it is on the screen. How about that? Mixed couples all over the place. You know, they went and took all the mystery out of it. Yeah. Now they're treating us like people. You can see what kind of position that puts a rapist like me in. Damn it. I had it all worked out. I had the nigger mystique. I talk nigga talk, you know. I walk nigga walk. I had it made. Then they changed it. They changed it all around. I found myself slipping. And there I was, you know, I was I was holding on to the past. Because change is scary. And then they said, re-educate yourself. Learn new trades. What trade? The Pullman part of the shoeshine boy and me. What trade? I only know how to do one thing. At least I'm. I used to know how. White men have the same problem. Listen, I'm... Put your, put your, put your pants on. You're, you're making me feel bad. what I said? White men have the same problem. Relax, okay? Can I get you something? Huh? Let me drink, please. The drink. 
Here, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. Lie back on the couch. You lie back and you relax. Come on. You trust me. I'll get you a pillow for your head because it's important that you just be completely relaxed and trust me. Come on. Put your head down there. There. Yeah, this ain't oh, natural, you know. One. Why isn't this natural? I'll just take your, your shirt off. You know, maybe if you're, you're her or something, Beck is at me, call me a dirty coon or something. No, 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 that's the point. I want this to be completely without that kind of thing. Well, that's not the point. I ain't never done it before without forcing. Well, it's going to be very easy. Now, let me just get that old shirt off. Hey, hey, you got to trust me. Let me just get that old shirt off. Oh, oh, oh my neck. What's the matter? Your neck hurts you? Good, I'm very good. I'll massage your neck for you, okay? There. I'll massage your neck. Is that get, good? Get me a pillow. From, can I have a little pillow, please? You want a pillow? Yes. You wouldn't rather have me massage it? No, I want a pillow. You want a pillow? Yeah, I'll help. Okay, I'll get you a pillow. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, and while you're up, let me just get that old shirt off. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you well, to... I can't do this when you have that old shirt on. Because that shirt has seen better days, huh? Woo! <laughs> Goodbye to that old shirt. Hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm ticklish. <laughs> a big boy like you. Yeah. Come oh, on, I'm ticklish. <laughs> You're ticklish? Oh, I am. I didn't know I was ticklish. Before. You're not ticklish. You're sensitive. Oh, my, my, oh, come on, I'm not going to fall for that old really leg. There is something wrong with No, are you ready? Hey. Oh, please. Hey. Oh, my God. Maybe you give me another pillow or something. Because I'm going to get oh, I need on it. top of you in the... Uh... This is called the superior position. Now, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's just... This is called that. That means that uh, I'm going to do all the work. I want you to know that. What? I appreciate this. Oh. Isn't it different? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, um, uh, Masters and Johnson. Which one? The technique. It was suggested by Masters and Johnson. Oh. You're gonna have the same trouble, too? Uh -uh. <laughs> Do you mind if I kiss you again? Sure. I was thinking, hmm. what if your husband walked in here right now with the money? Oh, Bone. You're just as I imagined you'd be.
I tell you to stay off the phone? Wait. Repeat that. Well, it was something about drawing out all of his savings. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. I, I convinced him how unsound it would be to draw out one savings so late in the month. You know, lose all that interest. Right? That shit. Anybody have a sense of responsibility around here? Well, I gotta get out of here. What time is it? What time is it? Oh, shit. Boy, I can just see him on the six o'clock news. Yeah, and I can just see me in jail. Yeah. The morning husband of the victim. Yes, friends, that's the way I found her. Her legs spread apart. Dead, the victim of multiple rape and homicide. Truly a tragic situation, ladies and gentlemen. So take your condolences and your sympathy to where the friendly freeways meet, where you can pick the car of your choice at an unbelievably low price during this limited tragedy sale. While they're there, they'll buy a couple of Mustangs. Yeah, I know that's true. You know how I know that's true? Once we had this accident in the Covina lot, it was just a dog. It was just a goddamn dog. The customers, they came in, in droves. They'll do that for a dog. Yeah. They'll probably start around a while and then call the cops to tip them that a problem we'll just to get them over here. Cut with a Figure they won't get here in time. Look, give me my Rate. shirt. Can I have my shirt, he please? He probably figures I... Jesus Christ, can I please have my shirt? Let me hey, get wait out. a minute. No, I want my shirt, please. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait no, shirt. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bernadette, well, I'd like to have my shirt back, mm -hmm. please. Can I have my shirt, please? Can I please have my shirt? Look, give me my shirt. You'll be getting a lot more than your shirt. It wouldn't be this. Jackpot. <laughs> what do they say about how all great minds think alike? <laughs> Hello, operator, get me the police department. Police department. Hello, police department. Police department. Police department. Uh, hello. Police department is... I can't hear you. You sound like you're talking with a handkerchief over the phone. Uh, police department, I want to report an anonymous tip. Who's calling, please? Anonymous. Spell that, please. Spell anonymous? Too tough for you? Spell anonymous? Who are you? Fuck you. Now, what's your name? Who are you? Anonymous. Now, look here. Look up your ass. We're sick of getting these phony false alarms from kids. What is it? A bomb scare? Certainly not. Listen, you wouldn't be trying to trace this number, would you? You'd like that, eh? Now, listen here. Listen, kid. I am no kid. Weirdo, pothead, faggot. Uh, how'd you like a nice haircut, huh? How'd you like to have your whole body shaved? You got any hair in your body or is it smooth like a girl's, huh? My God, this is like an obscene phone call. What do you mean, a like? This is one. Now, listen close. I'm going to take your head. I'm going to grab you by the ears. I'm going to put... Red Riding Hood.
right ahead sidekick, Lil Beaver. <laughs> now, most of the people I have married are the sidekick. <laughs> Fuzzy little guy. And they call him Fuzzy, too. But which one of us is Wild Bill and who's Fuzzy? Hey, listen to this. It's double if it's accidental. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. It's five thousand dollars for the loss of one or more digits. Seventeen thousand for the loss of one eye. Fifty thousand for both eyes. Twelve thousand five hundred for loss of nose and or both ears or one ear and loss of either hand or four digits of same hand. Huh. Huh. That's awful petty. Hmm. Well, you see, you got to figure out all of the combination. I wonder what happens if all of the pieces add up to more than the whole. I don't do piece work. The man goes in one fell swoop. Oh, bone. Would you, would you please stop? I want to get out of here. Pull over. I lied to you about Kenneth. About who? About Kenneth, our son. Oh, the hero. He's not a hero. I don't know how to tell you this. Come on, be brave. He's in jail in Spain for trying to smuggle hash back from Tangier. <laughs> You know, the more I hear about that boy, the more I like him. <laughs> He's in for six years and a day. He wrote to us for help and... We told everybody that he was flying a helicopter in Vietnam. You know, by the time he gets out, it'll be legal here. Won't he be pissed? I don't know whose idea it was. It couldn't have been mine. I'd remember. It must have been Bill. I'd remember. <laughs> I'd remember, wouldn't I? I'd remember, wouldn't I? <laughs> wouldn't I? I'd remember, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? What time is it? Oh, hello, Bill. What time is it? Gee, you're looking great. Woody in? Uh, is he expecting you? Hey, I'm glad you dropped by. I'm a mean call. How are you, Bill? Darling, uh, get Mr. Lennox a drink, eh? No, no, thank you. Uh, coffee. Diet Coke. Chinese food. We put in a special oriental kitchen when we took over the Chinks account. How about some terrific pork chow mein? I'm not hungry. Darling, I'll have a martini and uh, the egg drop soup crisp on the noodles. Hmm? Now, Bill. What time is it? Uh, don't you worry. When I heard you were in the building, I canceled everything for the remainder of the day. Hey. Hey, you're in trouble, aren't you, Bill? Well, I am uh, somewhat depressed, yes. I, uh, I... The old market kicking the hell out of you, eh? You see that decline just before closing? No, I, I didn't. Nobody's got any cash, so wrap the advertising. Woody, do you mind if I use your phone to call my house? You see, I've been trying to get my wife all day, and uh, there's been no answer, and frankly, I'm worried. Uh, darling, would you get Mr. Lennox home on my private line, please? She should be home by now. This is not like her. Now, where'd he likely be? <laughs> okay. 
he'd be at his, uh, let's see, his club. He could be at his accountant. He could be at his lawyer. Okay. We'll stop and ring him up. Wait, no, no. He's probably at his ad agency. There's a notion here. You've always worked better as part of a team, right? First Fury, now your wife. I mean, what greater loyalty is there than dog to man, wife to husband? I can envision Bernadette now, perched up there on the hood of a reconditioned XKE or some other fine automobile. Oh, that's a brilliant idea, Bill. I'll buy that concept. I'm definitely worried. A dog is a dog, but a wife is a bitch. Uh, seriously, Bill, how many dogs buy cars, right? But wives buy the busload. No answer at your home, Mr. Lennox. There, now, Woody, I told you. Now, I am concerned. I am truly concerned. Uh, no, no, don't be. Now, I just hung up the phone when the switchboard rang through and said your wife was on the line. Calling here? She wanted to know if you were expected. Did you tell her I was here? Oh, shouldn't I have? Did she want to talk to me? No, she said she was coming by to get you. Was it her voice? Are you sure it was her voice? Listen, that gives me an idea. As long as she's coming up here anyway, it'll give me a chance to pitch her the idea of using her as successor to Old Fury. I have to go. I, uh, I have no cash. I need money. You can't have no money, Bill. You owe us thousands of dollars in billings. But I have to have money. Uh, I never carry cash, Bill. Uh, I find I have no need for it. Well, I've got some some, some small change. Don't you have any right. petty cash? Uh, no. No, uh, it's locked. Uh, and the girl's gone. Well, I can give you uh, 38 cents. I'll take it. Now, which brings to mind the matter of your billing bill. You are seriously arrears to the tune of 12,006 on your late night Channel 5 saturation hitchhike bookings. Oh, it's money, Bill. Where should we tell her you went? I don't care what she tells you. I don't care what she says. Don't pay any attention to her, you see. Because it's not... Her. Say you're my mother. Tell him to go away. Young man, buck off.
All you have to do is to say I'm yours. And... Senile old bitch. It's okay, ma'am. We're gonna wash out his mouth with life for it. Hi, honey. Sorry about the ties, Mr. Winnick. I bet you're insured for everything. So, tell me about your day, huh? Yeah, I bet you got a nice, tidy little alibi. My dear, we have uh, a little misunderstanding. Bernadette and I understand each other perfect. Mm, you know, I never knew you could run like that. Mm, mm -hmm. You got style, Mr. Them big, long legs, sort of lope along, taking those big strides. Listen, listen to me, because I... Let me do that for you. Don't be so nice about it. I'm feeling very tender today, thanks to what your woman here has shown me. I got no call to give you any more grief than is necessary. Oh, that's true, Bill. You know, after 19 years, I still have some feeling for you. And I respect that. What are you trying to say? A hit in the head. You never know what hit you. And afterwards? Ah, oh, you don't want to know. Just take the hit in the head. Couldn't. You could. I phoned the bank. Come on, we're getting off. No, no! Never gonna get off this bus. We're not behaving normally. None of us are. I'm in love. Oh my God, with a son in Vietnam? He's in a Spanish prison. He didn't have to be. No, he didn't. You could have helped him. But I you never wanted... saw you do anything. You to ripped off his letter. You never wrote that. You, that's not true. Come on, let's not fight over the children. And how's he gonna like a Harlem group trotter for a stepfather? A matrimony is positively out. You see? See, he's not even going to marry, you know. I'm, I'm never going to leave this bus. Now, look, you've been following things up all day. Now, get your butt out of that chair. never going to leave this bus. You're going to have to kill me here in front of witnesses. I'm never leaving this bus. I'll stop. We can make a deal. We can get along, the, the three of us. I have a thriving business. Of course, it's a one-man operation. Bull. But I could continue to, to support both of you in the manner to which she's grown accustomed. You could have the master bedroom. I'd sleep in the boys. See, I'd be away at one of the lots most of the time in business meetings at night, so I'd never invade your privacy. It wouldn't work. The help would get suspicious. Now, look, you heard her off. Now, wait, wait, wait. Just wait a minute. We don't have any help. Not now. I and mean, we don't have to. I could do that. I could do the gardening and the cleanup. And hey, everything. wait a minute. I had my heart set on doing the gardening. All right. Change off every now and then. Well, you know, that might be a very good idea, man, because I'm a very good cook. And none of that soul food stuff either, man. Roast beef, prime a la stroganoff, man. <laughs> Curry chicken. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like I could tidy up here once a day if you wanted to and all, and I could make that place really neat. She knows how fussy I am. He can't iron. He's not worth a damn mechanically. I could take classes nights. I could do it. I could learn, and then I'd never be in your hair. I could learn to be handy. And... Just one thing. You know the little Sony, the seven-inch set? It's down in the, in the maze room. Now, if I, could, if I could just have that, you'd never even know I was around. But would you be happy? <laughs> Happy. Happy would I be happy? Of course I'd be happy. I wouldn't have any incompetent help to yell at. I could devote my time to work and no more social responsibility. <laughs> All right, everybody off. Why don't we have a drink and work out the boilerplate? You name it. Wait a minute now, you be careful. The one thing he's good at is selling.
Long ride for 25 cents. No matter. No matter. A deal is a deal. Even if it's not in writing. You trust Lennox, Lennox trusts you. Now I want you to be satisfied. Because what could be more important than goodwill? You ask anybody. Phil Lennox thrives on goodwill. He eats, drinks. He eats, drinks, breathes goodwill. And Lennox believes in racial freedom too. Lennox believes in sexual freedom, any kind of freedom. And the only thing Lennox wants is his life. And that is a reasonable deal. That is a guaranteed private off the lot deal you can't afford to turn down. Huh? Come on, Fuzzy. Cut him off at the pass. Act now. Act now. Don't let this opportunity pass by. Let him live. Let him live. Push. 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 This is a family affair. That was supposed to be my job. Uh, I don't need you, Fuzzy. Do it. That should be enough. Okay. Come on. Let's let's lock him over to his golf club, huh? We could we could dump him in the sand trap and make it look like he got hit by a golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about that? <laughs> hey. Where are you? Hey, Bone? Where are you? It was a black. It was a a huge black man. Of course, I resisted. I have marks all over my body. Do you care to see them now? I'll show you. I'm, I'm completely marked by him. I told him that there were no roaches. See, I kept fighting him. I said there were no roaches in the house. He kept insisting that he wanted to exterminate them. I have very close friends, and, and I care very much about civil rights. He just looked like a big nigger. He killed my husband. It was a black man. You see, my husband believes in equality for the black man. And my husband felt great uh, compassion. He was a, a very compassionate man. He was so big and so strong and grotesque. I just identified him. And identified nigger. Don't call them colored. Oh, I am cooperating. I can give you a complete description. Let me describe him to you. He was a very... I kept saying there are no roaches. This is a perfectly clean house. A huge 
black man. I can, uh, I can give you a full description of him. You see, I saw everything before he raped me. He killed my husband. I mean, how do you expect me to feel about him? Of course he fought him, but he isn't one of those Africans. You know, he doesn't have a lot of big hair or anything. An Afro. He just had regular hair. He was an Afro. He had a big, and he had bones tied around his neck. He looked like a hippie. Don't call them Negroes. We were just completely helpless. He didn't want a job. He didn't want to work. His fly was always open. He smelled, and he had work clothes, like a janitor, like they used to look, like they should look. I don't know whose idea it was. It couldn't have been mine. I'd remember. <laughs> I'd remember, wouldn't I? I remember, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I?